the attention is for you to hear me. I assume nearly everyone just wants to go to sleep now, so I'll keep it really short. Jeff has arrived in London. As he says, the beer's gone because we've drunk it. He has given me a clip-on light for the 41 because you forgot to talk about it, Jeff. Oh, right. Well, I can't read you. Do you guys remember? Oh, I remember those. The light that you could yeah. clip onto an HP 41? Yeah. Or well, Jeff has found ones that you can actually uh -oh. clip on. Oh, so it. Jeff has given me a toy like this, and we've gone round to talking about books, because Jeff's going to write a book, isn't he? And I've written a book, and being lazy, rather than writing a new book, I simply produce a new printing every couple of years for an HHC. And this year, because the kind guys have produced a new calculator, the Prime, uh, Richard Nelson has put the Prime on the cover. Guy Ball, who prints the books, uh, couldn't come here this year, but he sends his regards, uh, and he printed a few copies for me uh, to show around and to sell to anyone who's interested. And I wanted to talk about the future of the books. But before talking about that, Guy Ball can't come. But he's printed the books for me, and I've been talking to Pavneet Arora, who usually wins the speaker prize, but Pavneet, poor chap, is in India dealing with uh, his mother's estate. His mother died a couple of months ago. So uh, we're sorry, Pavneet. Um, okay, what should I do in the future with this book? I've got various options, and I want to chat with you about it. The first thing is, is the prime the peak and the end of calculators? Maybe I don't need to produce any more books. Maybe this is it. We've got the greatest and the best, and you're not going to be able to do any more because it's all going to go onto tablets, so I don't need any more books. Is that okay? Yeah. Depends on whether HP anything else said, comes out. Or make no forward HP, sound. all right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've got to allow for the fact that there might be more great calculators, so maybe I need to make another book. Um, what should I add to it? Um, this book is a technical resource. I mean, I have fun writing it, and some of you have fun reading it, but it's also a technical resource. Uh, it gives dates and introduction. It, tells you what batteries it uses and so on. Richard says I should put in details of the batteries and the charges on every single model. Yes. Is that a useful thing to do? Yes. Yeah, that would be useful. Connecting cables. Connecting cables. Okay, is someone taking notes? Oh yeah, because <laughs> some cables. Connecting cables. Redesign it. Uh, put the list of calculators not at the back, which is where it is at the moment, Richard says he always pulls it out and puts it at the front. But it's traditional that when you produce a book, you have a front page. And uh, if someone opens this book and finds a list of calculators instead... Is there still one page? Will the table still be one We could page? have a table of contents after No, that. no, it's, it, it's two and a half pages in compressed print now. So I put it at the back. At least you can find it. Maybe I should put it on the back cover instead. Um, hmm. What else? Um, photographs of the insides? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that leads me to the next question, which yeah, is photographs of the insides. Maybe there should be color photos of every calculator. In fact, should I produce a coffee table version? Ooh, yeah. Ooh, with yeah. a hard cover, yes. $100 each. Leather bound. <laughs> Leather bound. How many people would buy coffee? Copies? I think 10 would. Wow. It might be a go. <laughs> with, the, with the price of printing small runs these days, it might be interesting. Okay, that's a project for three years. You won't see me here next year. I'll be writing a book at home. Do that when all when the calculators really do disappear and there's no more. Then then you can do that. Oh, do it do it as a final project when when when, when, when HP have no future to talk when about no more rather than yeah. just want to be quiet about. Okay. Uh, maybe I should simply redo this in a bigger edition, or is this too big already? No, uh, eight and a half by eleven, cold brown. That works. Okay. Well, okay. I can do one like this and one like this, but this will be the coffee table version. Okay. Well, there's one other question. Maybe I should take something out. Maybe it's already too thick and too heavy. Um, is there something to take out? For example, I try to give prices here. Uh, these days, you simply go onto eBay and you look at how much the calculator you're looking for has sold the last time there were three sold. 
Uh, and, and that gives you the price. Do I need to have a whole ton of stuff about prices in the book? No. Oh, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's something dynamic. It's dynamic, yeah. but you see, the prices generally shift up and down altogether. So I can say multiply all the prices in this book by 1.17, and you've got a calculator to do it with, haven't you? Um, because that's what the factor has been over the past year. No, you should lower the prices so they go down on eBay. <laughs> oh, you mean they're using your book as yeah. reference for e yeah, yeah. yeah, I've had complaints from friends who says you shouldn't have put the prices in there. The prices have all gone up to what you put in the book. <laughs> Maybe ignore them. Maybe I should put all the prices down until I've bought every single model. <laughs> oh, but I already have. <laughs> So I'll put them up so I can sell my models at a higher price. You could have a supplementary pay, page or something with all the prices. Yes. A volume two on software. I don't really want to put these boys in there because that's dynamic. That's even more dynamic than prices. <laughs> Every time you found the ideal app to put on your iPhone, someone comes up with an even better one. Okay. Um, Jackie over there has actually produced a list of, what, several thousand programs. Um, that volume would be really thick. Yeah. It's an interesting project, uh, but Felix knows about that, how, how, many, how much has been written about these. It, it would be a database project rather than a book project. What I have thought about is splitting computers and calculators into two volumes. Mm. So that um, I could have a second volume about well, the Omnibooks, the Omnigos, all that. The trouble is I would have to fill half of it with uh, iPacks, which I haven't got, which are very hard to get information on. Nobody cares about the iPacks. That's why I think I put them all in an appendix at the end. Mm. Mm. You're short on the iPacks, you can just forget. Oh, I, I, I've put the Jornadas in a little bit more, but the IPACs, the IPACs are definitely just appendix material. Oh. Large of typeface. Yes. Your typefaces. Oh! Can I get examples from you? No, I mean something written bigger for people with... Oh, all right. Well, yes. This version would have a bigger print. Yes, absolutely. Um, I don't want to make silly jokes about people who can't see very well, but, uh, you know, enlargers. Jeff has got an enlarging glass on his HP or what, haven't you? No, he's gone. No, he's doing something else. Jeff! Enlarging glasses over calculator fronts. Oh, yes. You haven't shown your HP or one yet, have you? Well, anyone who wants to see... <laughs> Yeah, I saw I earlier. Seen. Proof of concept, Jeff has got it. Okay, and proof of concept, I've got this book. Anybody else who wants a copy is welcome to it, but uh, to buy one, but I'm not really here to sell them. It's a project that's ongoing, and thank you very much for your advice. And any other ideas for a future edition, if I manage to get one, uh, come and tell me about them. Thank you. Okay, <clears throat> you've got your schedules.